everyone, hi Professor Hernandez. My name is Kristen Salguero and today I will be talking about A Devil's Highway written by Luis Alberto Urrea. In this book, we see the dehumanization of men and how they are seen as objects compared to American society today. We take a look at the desert and all its beautiful features and its treacherous um, sun and heat and we compare it to the ICE detention centers in today's society. And finally, we confirm that the men are considered victims similar to the African-American community in today's world. With these observations, we do confirm that the men are rebels as they are rejected from society. It begins with the Yuma 14. The Yuma 14 are traveling through the Mexican border through Yuma, Arizona to reach their dreams. This is Raimundo Sr. and this is Raimundo Jr., the two main characters of the Yuma 14. They are traveling through the hot sun with the heat bearing down them, which will lead to their inevitable death. And that's what makes this journey so tragic and so tough. Urea narrates from a third person point of view and interjects his comments about their society, and also relating to today's society. In today's society, many Mexican immigrants do try to immigrate, but are rejected out of fear or out of un no knowledge from the American society. They are called beaners, wetbacks, nopaleros, just like in the book when the guys for the Yuma 14 and for the Mexican and American government, they call them wets and tonks. I chose to compare them to the African American community similar to Black Lives Matter because they also are called racial slurs in today's society similar to still how Mexican Americans are still called racial slurs even in today's society. Though when either of them try to speak up, they are shut down. Like for the Black Lives Matter protest, people were trying to shut those down because they were trying to proclaim for their rights. They were trying to get some justice for themselves, but people would shut it down and they would just not let it happen. And that's not fair to them because they are people as well as the Mexican immigrants. Nobody tried to help them when they were traveling through the desert. The governments both knew how dangerous the desert would be to them, but they did not do anything to stop it, though they knew that people have died in there before. There's a quote that I found that I feel is very similar to both of their situations. It is by Helen Ubinas, and it was in her article, The Real Dirt on American Dirt. And it says, people love to give a voice to the voiceless until the voiceless demand to speak for themselves. This applies to both communities. Both were rejected because African Americans still are trying to fight for their rights to this day. And they still have not been given that right and Mexican Americans are still trying to cross over to America to make a better life for themselves, but they have not been able to. They are both are rejected and are seen as rebels because they are trying to do what American society does not want them to do for themselves. Another quote that I saw relating to the problems at the border is due to specific tragedy at the border, he demonstrates now American commerce, culture, and history create the necessary conditions for the exploitation of the Mexican Americans. This was in Sandra Cox's literary criticism. These men are trying to cross over to make that better life for themselves, just as everybody deserves the right to. Instead of being helped or instead of just being sent back for their safety, they were being exploited and they were being used as an example to show everybody else don't cross into the desert because this is what will happen to you. The men are rebels in American society and they are used as an example in this book. They are dehumanized and called racial slurs they traveled through treacherous territories similar in terror as the ICE detention centers and are victims of exploitation, exploitation just like the African Americans. I can confirm that these men are rebels because they both are not what American society depicts as their own. American society continuously rejects the Mexican Americans as they want the border to be made. That's a big tell that they don't want any Mexicans in here and that's very racist and discrimination. 
I personally believe that this book was a great example to show, to give those rebels a voice. They were given a voice to the voiceless and Urea perfectly described what is happening and showed a light on what rebels back then and how they relate to our society today. I use Sandra Cox's literary criticism, Helen Ubinas, her article, the, the Real Dirt on American Dirt and The Devil's Highway by Luis Alberto Urea. Thank you for listening.